Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Filmspiration, the place where filmmakers come to get inspired. My name is writer-director Edgar Ibarra. Let's get down to business. Special treat for you all, I've got... Andrea Hickey. Now, Andrea, you are an actress here in the Tucson area, correct? I am, and I'm also an actress in the Phoenix area and Los Angeles. So talk to us a little bit about um, your background, how long you've been doing it, what drove you to get into this crazy industry, for those of us who don't know you. I have been acting since I was really about three years old, and it was after watching an episode of I Love Lucy that I told my grandmother that I wanted to be like Lucille Ball, and I fell in love with her. And then I started professionally acting at age 12, and um, had an acting scholarship for college and just loved acting. It's really my passion. I stepped away from it for a little bit and got my master's in counseling. And then I just felt the Lord continue to pull me back in. And two years ago, I got an agent, Danny's Agency in Phoenix and took off from there. Awesome. Yeah. Now, now you said you stepped away from it. When you stepped away from it, did I you did. feel that there was a piece of you that was missing when you were not in, you know, in the creative realm or, or just in acting? Absolutely. It's, I feel like it's very much in my bones to be an actor and to be an entertainer. And so when I wasn't doing that, it was leaking out in other areas. So yeah. even when I was a therapist or counseling or um, doing different projects, it was always a part of me. And so being able to actually do it again has been amazing. What? Okay, so we, we are here at third from the right, and you are actually outside, so you just had an audition, correct? I did. I had an audition my first time here, which has been great. What do you say to all the actors and actresses out there who, um, because I was just speaking to another actor who said, you know, he doesn't audition well, but when he's on the set, that totally changes and he feels better. So how do you approach the nervousness, the jitters, etc.? I think what really helps me is preparation. So when I get the script, really reading over the scene and then coming up with my character. I don't come up with my performance first. I come up with my character. Who am I? What does my character want in this scene? The way that I walk, my confidence, my posture. And then when I enter into the audition room, I channel that character and it helps with the nerves because you're not walking in as yourself, you're walking in as your character. Very good point. Very good. And what about confidence? How do you get to that confidence level of just being able to to then take that character and just bang it out versus kind of trying to squeamishly get it up? Well, I think practice makes perfect. So always practicing, whether you're actually doing live auditions or even at home. I do a lot of those. I self-tape and I'm, you know, practice getting in front of the camera and getting a feel of what that's like so that when I do have auditions, my preparation is solid and I can just walk in being that character. Now, the word practice um, came out of your uh, verbiage a few times. And what practice, how that translates to me, Andrea, is it's to me this is the way i word it it's putting in the work yes it's putting in the work talk to us about about the actors and the actresses that need to put in the work and how it's not just about being a pretty face right it's not at all about being a pretty face i mean sometimes depending on the character that helps yeah. and of course your physical attributes can help but it is about practice i have worked so hard on different auditions and scenes just breaking things down understanding the beats what's going on with my character and it is hours and hours of work for a simple audition <laughs> so um, but you know what when you put the work in that makes all the difference in certain moments within certain films that could really make you leap off of the screen right absolutely absolutely cool um, what was it I, you know I, I lost my train of thought and so I had another question but um, let me see if if there's okay you know what let's go let's go deep okay. for just a moment have you ever had a slump um, or maybe you didn't step away or maybe you did step away from acting. Have you ever had a slump, an emotional or mental slump? And what do you do to get out of that and back into your, um, your groove and your stride? That's a great question. I get asked a lot about my positivity and I've definitely struggled with, you know, depression, and anxiety at different times in my life and it's very difficult and what I focus on are affirmations. So I had a mirror that I covered in post-it notes of positive affirmations that I said every day. I only watched funny things, positive things. I think everything that you're feeding yourself when you're going through those hard times is positivity. How can this help you get out of it? Yeah. Obviously talking to someone if you need that and um, really just being honest and open about where you're at so that you can acknowledge that and then get to the next place. 
I hope I, that helps. I, no, no, I, I like it. You know what? Like, uh, not not too many people bring up the concept of affirmations. For mm-hmm. some other people, maybe they'll use the word meditation, maybe prayer, and which is all fine and dandy as well. But I like the word affirmations too because you know we hear things like vision boards as well. Yes, all kinds of things like that. Um, all right. So another area I wanted to go into, Andrea, is uh, the area of longevity. Because, for example, um, a lot of times we'll hear about the actors and the actresses that are overnight successes but it takes about 20 years or so and so it's never really overnight is right. it okay um what what do you tell yourself when you have the moments of you know when i mean okay i'm sorry i'm totally screwing up my question so so check this out <laughs> is is it about is it about the one big thing that's gonna put you over the top or is it a is it a process through longevity I think it's a process of longevity. I think it's the culmination of everything because every time I'm in an audition room, every time I'm on set, every time I'm working with a new script, I learn something new and I have goals for each thing. So what I'll do is I'll set a goal for an audition so that my end goal is not whether I book the project or not. It's, hey, did Andrea accomplish this goal today? And so it's a process. It's working. I mean, yes, you do hear about those overnight successes, but I think it is like overnight success of 20 years. At least that's what I've heard. Like uh, the actor, what's his name from um, uh, Game of Thrones? M- yes. Mumia, what is his name? Uh, Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. Yes. Okay, so I, I just shared a video the other day. His experience goes back to the late 90s, but he seems to have come out of nowhere, but obviously that's not the case. And I just think it's so fascinating when I get to meet actors and actresses such as yourself who are in the hustle, who have maybe been in the hustle for years a lot of times i'm like where have you been i've never met you right we're finally meeting for the first time today (laughs) but i just think that that part is inspiring i agree i agree and he's amazing yeah he started off at uh, i think it was hawaii 5.0 or something yeah and he looks completely different and he is definitely an inspiration for those that continue to work hard if it's something that you love keep doing it and believe in yourself. That is the one thing that I wish I would have known earlier on. I kind of put my self-worth in other people's hands rather than just knowing that I was enough and I was good enough. Yeah. Being me and having that confidence yeah. really helps in this career. I think it's actually crucial. <laughs> what? Okay, so let, let's dive into that. That's a great area to dive into because I want to know when you have those haters when you have the people mm-hmm. who maybe aren't happy within themselves right here in their own hearts and their own minds and then they expel that negative energy onto you or onto other people how do you deal with that and you know how do you deal with those people i let it go i mean my motto is like haters are gonna hate and 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 i take it to a different level of like there's obviously something going on with them that i don't know that's deeper and they're projecting that onto me so i just continue being me keep doing what i love and kind of let all that fall to the wayside i like it and and uh in my personal case you know I'll digest it for a moment mm-hmm. if, it, if it was a, an interaction or a negative interaction that I might have had with, with people. But then afterwards, you just you just let it go. And, and in my case, I just let it go and, and I re-solidify who I am. Like, no, this is who I am and this is what's what and I'm still proud of me. Exactly. And, when I, and so... Um, what was what else was I going to ask? Um, what else would you like to talk about with regards <laughs> to you know, your your just overall experience as an actress? And, oh um, gosh, uh, there's been so much. There's been so many experiences. Um, I would just focus on learning and continue growing in this industry. There's so many things I'm continuing to learn. Yeah. Every situation is new. Every experience is new, and I'm just having the time of my life, honestly. Awesome. You know what? And speaking of and so time of your life that's another great that's another great topic i've met a lot of you know here and there throughout the years edgar i don't you know my my thing has been behind the camera for the most part the writing shooting directing editing mainly but every now and then an actor and actress edgar should i try it should i try out should i should i even try to become an actor and actress what do you say to those actors and actresses that just have the itch or the curiosity but think maybe can I do it Mm, try it I mean take risks isn't that what life is all about taking risks and trying things so I say if you're feeling it there's something inside of you that wants it go for it have the confidence to follow through well, and- Andrea. Yes, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to screw up your name live on Facebook, live on the page. Um, Andrea, thank you so much thank for sharing you. your time, your knowledge, your wisdom, your input, your insight. I really do appreciate it. I hope to interview you once again. Yes. Um, and also, if 
people want to get in touch with you and yes. say, ooh, I need to get in touch with her for my film or, you know, just for any reason at all, how can they get in touch with you? The best way is probably my website, theandreahickey.com. It's got all of my contact information, all of my demo reels, pictures, anything that you would want. Facebook, obviously, and Instagram. And all of that is connected on my website. So that's probably the best and easiest way. Awesome, Andrea. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and have you send that information to me, and I I'll will. put it in the description of the video. Everyone, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Andrea, for your time, for your uh, your attention to, you know, just sharing your knowledge and whatnot. And everyone, this just goes to show. Oh, one more question. Here's the, th here's the one that I that oh, I forgot. Good. Okay, so, so here we are, third from the right, opportunities, right? And you're reaching out for an opportunity. Hold on. My wrist is literally about to snap. Okay. <laughs> it feels like. Oh, did you hear that snap? Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Um, so, so seeking out opportunities. I mean, my two cents is always seek out opportunities. Mm -hmm. But as an actress or as somebody who's the performer, what do you do when you're not seeing the opportunity that you would like? Is that when you have actors and actresses do take the initiative to, you know, do the one man or one woman play or, you know, what, what do you do when you don't see the, and here's what I'm going to stop blabbing in just a moment, but I'm a big believer in when you don't see the opportunity that you desire, it's probably time to create your own opportunity yes. somehow. Absolutely. Make your own, knock down your own doors. If I get a no, I just find another way to do it. So whether that's kind of changing career directions just for a minute or yeah. getting in touch with somebody and saying, hey, I'd really like to shoot this. What do you think? You know, connecting with the community is another great way to do that because then you can all collaborate together. Awesome. But I love that idea of doing like a one man, one woman show because you're doing it. You're creating everything yourself. And and so the reason why that comes to mind is because I was asked recently by a young actress, you know, well, I don't have a demo reel and I'm, I'm not, you know, too, but my, my two cents was you have the internet, you mm -hmm. have a cell phone, do your thing, have fun, be creative and let people continually, you know, through projects like that, especially if you're going to share, share it on, on Facebook, for example, let constantly remind people, this is who I am. This is what I do. And I'm having a good time. And you know, whether or not you let, so that that's where that comes from. Right. And then of course we've heard of the, um, oh my God, this itch. <laughs> and then we've heard of, um, you know, actors and actresses like John Leguizamo's, um, I think, uh, Latin history for dummies, I think, or it's literally him for an hour and a half on stage. Wow. I, I want to say like an hour and a half, maybe not that dumb, but it's literally just him. Right. And so for this young lady, I didn't have another response other than, uh, do something on your own. Yeah. And why not? Why I not? mean, that's my two cents. So. Absolutely. And cool. just like La La Land, the movie where she ends up, you know, yes. yeah. doing yeah. her own show and then it propels her because that one person that was in the audience that needed to see her saw her. And that's right. Where they all stand up and they, they have, it's been like about a year and a half since I've seen Yeah. Well, remember there were only like four people in the audience for her show. And yep. so she thought it was like a huge mistake. She was yeah. so disappointed. She ended up leaving L.A. for a little bit, then gets this call. Or Ryan Gosling's character gets the call and then says, hey, he they want you to come in. Yep. He, drags, he brings her back. Yes. Yeah. And then it was that woman that saw her one woman show yeah, and thought woman. she was amazing. See, there you go. That's there where it go. comes from. And so from my lack of creativity in answering this young lady came something that I think was kind of wor worth the value. But turns out I'm not totally crazy. <laughs> but all right, everyone. So, uh, Andrea, anything else you want to add before, you know, my brain shuts down? You know, I do want to say something about auditions that I just thought of. Okay. Focus on booking the room, not the role. So coming in and, you know, being approachable and friendly and, you know, getting to know the casting director. And yeah. I know there's not a lot of time, but I've yeah. heard that a lot. Like, do something that makes them remember you. And yeah. it's not always just about your character and what the audition piece is. Who are you when you walk in the room? Because you're selling yourself. Yes. Yeah. You are the product. Well, Andrew, again, here, <laughs> let me see. You got as, it. as my wife tells me, get to the point. She tells me that all Does the time. She? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Justin, baby, if, you, if you're uh, watching, uh, you can definitely relate. Um, everyone, so, Andrea, thank you so thank much. Thank you. I really do appreciate your time this and your, your input. Um, everyone, Andrea and, uh, you know, reaching her, her goal of, um, and always continually reaching for your goal of, of uh, acting. Is just another example of hey, run out there. It's the message of the show: film inspiration, inspiration in film. Run out there, do it. Tell your stories. Um, if you have a higher power, if you have a connection yes. with your higher power, appeal to that higher power. 
And beyond that, don't ask for anyone's blessing or permission. Do your thing. You do you. Tell your stories. The technology is there if you need a little help with any aspect of it on the film or, or on the acting side or the filmmaking side. Go the un- to the University of uh, the University of YouTube. Yes. I hear <laughs> tuition is free. <laughs> tuition is free. And uh, yeah, get That's knowledge good. there. Get schooled. Cool. Um, everyone, so uh, yeah, on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also the little uh, bell note next to it. That way you're notified next time I make a new video. And also um, Facebook, give us a big fat like. If you like the video, give us a big fat thumbs up. If you thought this video sucked, give us a big fat thumbs up. That's my sarcasm at play. <laughs> and uh, share the video if uh, you would like to um, have somebody who you know can use this knowledge. Share the video with them. The Twitters and the Instagrams below everyone thank you so much thank you. this has been awesome and and your your neighbor <laughs> <laughs> andrea hickey and, my and awesome <laughs> awesome andrea hickey and my name is writer director edgar ibarra thank you so much thank you andrea thank appreciate you. it <laughs>